All right, so Toyota Racks Part 2. In our last video, I showed you guys this. A nice factory rack setup where you can haul two kayaks on your new Toyota RAV4. Now we're going to show you a little bit of how we're going to set it up for our business use. For us, we're hauling a lot of kayaks and gear and we'll have a rooftop tent and a lot of different options on there. So we're going to need a more substantial bar, a little wider bar. So follow along as we build out Abba's new Toyota RAV4. So the first thing we got to do is take off these old factory racks. They're easy enough, you just flip them on either side. Flip them over and give them a twist and then they should just pop right off there. Here's the old ones. We're gonna store these out of the way and let's get the new ones on. So what we're gonna replace her factory bars with is the Malone Airflow 2s. These ones are 58 inches wide um, yeah. The RAV4 would probably do fine with 50, but again, because we're going to be using it for hauling lots of boats and that rooftop tent, we're going to go for the 58s to give us about 4 inches on either side of the car. Okay, so here's the Malone Airflow 2 rack, and what you see is you've got a couple of feet here. What these are going to do is grab onto the side rails of the car. They slide in and out, so no matter how narrow or wide your rails are, it should fit. They do make this in three different sizes, a 50 inch, a 58 and a 65. Prices are 159, 169, and 179. So, super easy install. We're just gonna put this up here. We're just gonna grab onto either side. Cool. We're gonna center it up and then I'll come back with the tape measure, make sure we're even, and then tighten them down. Okay, so we had six and a half inches on the other side. We wanna make sure we're roughly the same. Yeah, six and a half inches on this side. And then how these work is this rubberized piece goes around the bar and your lock core also comes with an Allen wrench. You stick the Allen wrench in the end here, twist it to tighten it down, give it a few turns. And then once you're done, this slides into place and you use your key here to lock it. This locks the rack on the car and you're good to go. Okay, so now that we got both our front and back racks installed, uh, they're secure on. The last step is to install these little rubber pieces. They fit on the bottom T-slot. And what they're for is to quiet your ride down. Without these, the racks want to whistle like a banshee. So you want to make sure to do this. And what we do is we just line it up, take a measurement, get it close, and then cut it with a pair of scissors. And then these guys just pop right into place, into the T-slot. Like so, that'll give us a nice quiet ride. All right, so here's the final look at the new racks on the RAV4. Again, with the 58 inch bars, we get a little bit of extra width on either side, a lot more strength, and just a lot more versatility for what we can carry and how we want to carry it. We could probably fit up to three boats on there fairly easily with these bars. So the first thing we're excited to show off is the new Yakima rooftop tent. We've had this in a box, just kind of waiting for a car to put it on. And this seems like the perfect test subject. So we'll slide this thing in place. Have to loosen that guy up. Oh, try to make it fit, yeah, kind of right on the edge there. All right, we'll loosen this up, get it fitted, and check back. So what I love about the Yakima rooftop tent and Yakima products in general is they're so easy to attach. So here we've got their clamp system. Same thing they use on all of their uh, kayak racks, bike racks, um, pretty much everything we use in the shop. Uh, they even have an awning that you could attach that clamps, clamps on the same way. So once we get it up there, we position it in place. It has these sliding tracks. The way we set it up was so we could still see off the sunroof, still open the back hatch. If we wanted to move it, it slides back and forth. Once we pick our spot, there's a little Allen bolt right here in the back, and we just crank this down, that locks it in place. We'll do that on all four sides and then we'll be secure, ready to pop it open. So let's pop this thing open and see what it's like. I've literally never set this up. Uh, we're just kind of unboxing as we go. Feels like I've got some tent poles in here. So uh, yeah, it's we'll like Christmas, let's check it out. learned a little bit about the, the tent and we actually read the instructions but um, these little guys right here plug right into the side of the frame 
And what they do is they support the rain fly so everything stays nice and tight and uh, keeps the rain off. You could go in the inside. In fact, that's how they tell you to do it. Go in the inside and install from the inside. But I'm tall. It's easy enough to do it out here. So we'll do it all around. We'll do, uh, there's two in the front, two in the back, and two on each side. All right, Abbott's heading into the cave. She's going to go install the last two rods over here. <laughs> How's it like in there? It's nice. So yeah, you see it just goes right into the little rod there. Plugs right in, super easy. Even That's I one thing I'll say, I, there's been, I've seen a lot of these rooftop tents. The ease of this thing is incredible. It literally took us like, I don't know, 15 minutes to set up and we have no clue at all what we were doing. I, I think if, once you got the hang of it, 10 minutes you could have your camp all popped up, set up. Here, I'm gonna pass this off to you. you want, give them the tour of your new house. Oh, okay. Sure. Woohoo! All right. So here we got the inside of the Yakima rooftop tent. We have our windows, our door. Hey, Dan. Hey. Another window, and a back window, and stargazing. <laughs> the best part about camping stargazing and campfires. And a uh, nice sleeping pad. This thing yeah. feels pretty cozy. So soft. I mean, this is perfect. You and your dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Great. Awesome. I like how it all rolls up, too. And I suppose if it was a really nice night, there's no reason you couldn't just take the, uh, rain, the rain fly off. off. But True. with the skylights, who cares? So this is how you get down in and out of it. It's got this really heavy-duty collapsible aluminum ladder. And then it actually acts as your support on this end. Um, so the rack has to hold 165 pounds, but the ladder is actually holding half of the weight. So um, two adults, no problem. You know, Ab and I were both up on the ladder and it seemed really, really secure. So we're gonna give this thing a test run and we want you guys to follow along on our Instagram. Uh, go check out the photos. We're gonna do a fun adventure with this thing and yeah, we'll check back in soon.